Hey YouTube, so what I have for you guys today is a Daisy Model 880 power line in 177 caliber. I don't know if these came in 22 caliber or not. This is a pneumatic pellet and BB gun. I, I don't remember how many BBs the reservoir holds, but they, they fit in here. I'm gonna just shoot uh, pellets today. This has a rifled steel barrel. Got a cross bolt safety. And the serial number on this, when I looked it up, that tells me it was lot number 6K. And this gun would have been uh, made in October of 1986. Um, the sight's not hooded like the one I got in the 90s. Um, it's seen wear and tear. It's missing a screw here on the receiver. I tightened a bunch of the screws on it before I shot it, and it still is loose. When I pump it up, I can still feel stuff wiggling around. This gun's seen some shooting over its over its lifetime. One of the things about the daisies that I that the Crossmans in the 80s didn't. Well, some of them did. The, this one gun was kind of the competitor to the Pro, the Powermaster 760. I had a Powermaster 760, um, but the Daisies used a barrel shroud, and then you had a whatever the thin barrel is in here. Um, your sight adjustment, so your windage, you know, this is uh, spot welded on, so your windage is this little tiny screw right here, which, what a pain to, to deal with that. Um, but then again, you know, I lost the screws of my Powermaster, so maybe that's a better design for the age group of the, uh, that this was targeted to. Um, you know, I got mine Power Master when I was in uh, junior high, and uh, I don't know how things are now, but back then, this, th this would have been kind of like the, this is what you would have wanted, you know, an 880 or a 760 Power Master, um, a step up from the single pump guns, or, or if you're a Daisy guy, you would have had a, the lever action, pure BB gun, so. You know, this is a shot pellets. It's powerful. You can pump it up 10 times. Pretty desirable. To raise your elevation, uh, this is a really nice system. You just lift up on, on, the, on the site. And I'm doing this one-handed. And, uh, and then it goes up the ramp, as you can see here. The reason I'm going to do that is because I just shot a group with uh, competition 177 caliber pellets. They were a wad cutter and they left nice clean holes and i was actually shooting at this i was shooting at this target here at 50 feet and i was hitting down here so i just raised the elevation so i should be able to hit for you guys hit some silhouettes and cans so this group is just under an inch and a half i, I could take a bunch of time to try to shoot better than that but at the 50 foot distance i'm shooting at i you know without a scope it's really hard for me to see the target so that, that's good enough for this and we'll see how I do. I'm sure I'm confident I can hit the cans. I'm not sure about silhouettes. So we'll see how this gun does. I'll show you some of the things I I never so back when these were available, I think it, for a while they were called the black diamonds and I think that was why they had the black diamond. Maybe they were named after that. I don't know. They were just kind of goofy looking to me. You know, the stock it's got it's got the cheek pad on it. They like gives them I want to call this a Monte Carlo stock. It's nice. It says Daisy on the back. Um, I just for me, I never liked the way these things look because of that stupid pump handle. I just uh, the Crossmans, the Crossmans look like a regular gun, and I'm not bagging on the Daisy at all. That's just my personal preference. Other people might think it looks cool. You know, back then. Uh, I, I think these date back to the 70s, and you had a lot of, you know, Battlestar Galactica was on TV, Buck Rogers, so maybe it kind of has to like a little bit of a modern space age look to it, perhaps. I just thought it was weird, and actually, when I'm pumping it up, my knuckles smack in here, and it's just like I wasn't enjoying pumping it up. What's neat about this, a 1986 model, a 1986 model, this is all metal. The receiver's metal, trigger guard's metal. Looks to me like the trigger's even metal. So it's just a nicer quality gun than the, 
the plastic things they have out today. I, I just, I don't know. These things are already really slim and skinny. I just kind of wonder how well the plastic ones hold up. Maybe they're okay, but, you know, but one thing I thought was pretty interesting on something, you know, here it is. This is a, a 1986. And we're talking the plastic stock, you know, nylon or whatever, whatever this is made out of. That's still in great shape today. That's 36 years ago. That, that's, that's, that's awesome. So it's pretty high quality, high quality stuff. Um, you know, you know, you got some rust on the barrel. It's just painted, but you know, it's stored inside. So it's, you know, you, you know, why would anybody, well, if you're a kid, kid will leave it out in the lawn and get all wet or whatever. But, um, yeah, overall guns, not in terrible shape working gun. I was, I looked on eBay, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, for, pellets I, I thought i had a set of vintage pellets and anyway i saw one of these for sale and somebody's asking over a hundred some dollars for it and i'm like you kidding okay whatever so uh one nice feature is it's got it's got a dovetail on it so you can mount a scope and then you load your pellets here it's got a little a little feed ramp for them to drop in i have a Pointed pellet of some brand. I'm not even sure what it is. But anyway, how oh, will it fit in there? Is it too new? Oh, good. It dropped right in. So yeah, it just kind of rolls. No, I guess I didn't. So it just rolls right down the ramp. And this one's been shot quite a bit, so it actually has a little bit of slop. I had to make sure I drive it forward. It takes 10 pumps. Pretty standard to pump it up all the way. A foam ring right here that uh, you know it tells you that's where you oil it and so I I already oiled it before the video and uh, it was actually a bit dry so you know it's pumping up and holding air just fine I honestly th think that that really says something about the gun these weren't expensive guns when they came out in the 80s but the fact that it still works 36 years old um, I, I'll tell you what I'm, I'm really doubtful that a bunch of these gas piston guns they're producing now if we were to take one and go to use it 36 years from now, that they're going to work. Because when this thing's stored, there's no pressure built up in here. It, you know, um, I think there's a lot to be said for something that's pretty simple, low powered, and they just tend to, they tend to work for a long time. And you can tell this thing's, it hasn't, it didn't, obviously didn't have a life where it sat stored in a closet for the past 36 years. You know, it was used a lot when it was new. All right, let's uh, get to shooting it. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna shoot this thing off my elbow. Let's see if you guys can get an idea of the sight picture. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, it's really cool when you're doing a video if you can do this all in one take. The trigger on it feels good. It's, I don't have complaints about the trigger. That's, this is an accurate gun. Okay, I'm gonna go for the ram. Wow. I'm, I am really, really impressed. I've had an easier time shooting this gun than I've had shooting way more expensive guns on the channel so far. <laughs> 36 years old. I've not cleaned the barrel. I've not done anything. I didn't even own this one as a kid. I don't know what my brother-in-law did with it. it. I just pulled it out of storage. Since I started the channel, I've been enjoying shooting my air guns. This is this is really fun because I didn't I didn't spend time with uh, one of this this type of gun growing up. Okay, we're gonna go for the turkey next. Okay, miss. So this gun's really easy to pump up. Wow. I feel confident about hitting that piggy. This gun feels like a rattle trap. It's kind of funny how great it's shooting. Okay. I might have aimed a little high there. Wow, that's great. Okay, guys. So overall, I mean, what a... What a, what, a, what a fun experience that was. Um, I, I enjoy reading the comments of guys that had guns, you know, uh, these type of guns as kids or whenever. And then, uh, you know, people write in, they're like, oh, just I loved hearing the sound of it. And 
that that's kind of that's one of the reasons I made the channel. Just you know, it's it just fun. I, I like you know you can maybe help a guy relive his memories and and see what things were like. And it's fun for me. It's been I enjoy. I, I've really enjoyed uh, getting my guns out, shooting them again, sharing them with you guys. Um, it's uh it's been it's been really fun and have an idea for a new video like if you can only own one gun uh what would it be you know and i'm not saying it's the best gun ever but just one gun and uh because i have a, an idea of a gun i kind of want to buy and uh anyhow we'll see i just done a year for a video if you guys have ideas for videos uh please let me know um i've got more guns to uh show you guys in the future okay guys that's all for now till then see you next time